mid sounds. Symphony number 40 in G minor. And I've actually put a link to so you can hear this. I'm going to turn it down now. Uh, just a little bit. I've been creating playlists and looking for incredible music so that I can work and write and study without being distracted. And the other day I was studying my Spanish, like the very good girl that I sometimes am. And I have this amazing podcast that I listen to. And he also teaches mindset, which sometimes I find a bit boring because I kind of feel a little bit like I know it all. Of course I don't. But he shared this, a really uh, long version of this symphony. And that was basically the entire class. And I loved it. And what I discovered was, hello gorgeous, thank you for being here. Thank you all for being here. What I discovered during this class was that not only is this Mozart Symphony 40 and a lot of Mozart's uh, symphonies, not only are they beautiful to listen to and uh, very sympathetic in terms of uh, contributing to your concentration, but they expand your brain as well. I mean, how cool is that? Um, and there's actually a book called The Mozart Effect by Don Campbell, which I highly recommend, which actually talks about it. Um, the Mozart Effect, this book, stimulating, authoritative, and often lyrical, The Mozart Effect has a simple but life-changing message Music is medicine for the body, the mind, and the soul. And as if we didn't already know that. Um, but it's, uh, it helps, uh, it contributes to, uh, yeah, to learning and to expanding your brain, especially certain kinds of mental tasks known as spatial temporal reasoning. So there you go. Um, like as I said, I've been creating a playlist for years. Uh, a, a lot of uh, solfeggio tones, S-O-L-F-E-G-G-I-O -G -G tones, which are also very, very, very... Ah, okay, cool. Chamber music. I actually don't know what that is, Tracy. You're going to have to tell me. Um, so yeah, I've been creating this playlist. And to be honest, I haven't been super happy with it. But now I'm like on fire and excited about the Mozart effect and now creating a whole new playlist. So that like, yeah, for, you know, all of the time that I'm studying and writing and uh, working, that I can actually have this music on in the background, which is not going to distract me, but it's actually going to contribute to my brain. <laughs> How absolutely cool is that? So that's literally all I wanted to share with you today, apart from one more thing. And that is that you're going to get a little, um, whatchamacallit, an angel word from my gorgeous crystal. I love crystal. I love crystal. I used to cringe when I was a kid at my mum's crystal chandeliers. Um, but now I love crystal. It's like my favorite thing. And I've actually got... Uh, one of my mum's crystal chandeliers winging its way to me at the moment so that I can have it in my home, which I'm very excited about. Anyway, that's a little aside. Um, yeah, I'm going to choose one of these beautiful angel cards for you. So set your intention, get clear on what guidance you would love on something. Maybe you've got a problem going on or you're feeling maybe a little bit stuck. So I'm actually going to choose one of these cards. And if you're watching this, this is going to be relevant for you. You know what? I've been just guided to choose two. And I always choose with my left hand because it's the receiving side. So there's the first one. And the first word, <laughs> of course it is. Humor. You've got to have humor. Where's my camera? You've got to have humor regarding whatever is going on. You've got to have a laugh. Yeah, we're deep, we're spiritual, we're like, you know, incredible beings. But, you know, who's to say they didn't?
didn't create us. God, goddess, didn't create us to have a very good laugh. I know sometimes, um, even when I'm in the darkest of spaces and times, I sometimes do look up and go, you're having a laugh, aren't you? In my uh, takeoff Cockney accent. But you know, you've got to have, you've got to have a laugh. You've got to have a laugh. <laughs> That's what it's all about, isn't it? Well, it's not. It's all about lots of things. But that's definitely one of the main things. And your next card, your next word for the week. Ah, classical music is chamber music. Okay, cool, Tracy. I've never heard that phrase before. How fascinating. I, I want to find out more from you. Okay, oh my God. And my also, I think this is my highest value in the world, freedom. And I, I kind of sometimes think that we only want what we want because in the having of it, we want to feel good, but it's also about freedom. It's so important, isn't it? Freedom, 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 freedom. So there's your two words for the week. How awesome a week is this gonna be? Yeah, Tracy, I love them too. I'm like, I think they might be my favorites. Uh, humor and freedom. Go have the most ridiculously awesome week. Let, you, let me know how you get on with this music. Does it resonate for you? What music are you normally into? And, uh, you know, yeah, do you, does this kind of, does this work for you? And as I'm on the musical theme, and I'm still under 10 minutes, I just want to recommend another album. One of my, yeah, my main hero, Paul Weller, has just released an incredible new album, the name of which I can't remember off the top of my head. Um... And I really, I mean, it's just, he's one of those musicians that has contributed more, actually he's contributed more to my life than any other musician. And I just love where he's at now. I love his offerings. And he's a pretty cool guy as well. Um, so yeah, check that out as well. Lots of little checkouts and recommendations for you. Um, I love you so much. Aloha, have a beautiful week, and I'm going to see you on Friday. I'm going to be back um, because I want to share a story with you that I hope is going to uplift you and inspire you uh, and get you shooting off into the right direction of the life of your dreams, you beautiful being. Aloha, I love you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the loves and hearts. Give me a love, give me a little love heart, a smiley face. <laughs> I do, they do tickle me. Okay, aloha, love you loads, and thank you, Tracy, for being here. Thank you, everyone else, and uh, see you Friday. Aloha.